Special Counsel Jack Smith unveiled hugely anticipated federal criminal charges against Donald Trump, accusing the former president of a conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with conspiring to defraud the United States, conspiring to disenfranchise voters, and conspiring and attempting to obstruct an official proceeding. In the 45-page indictment, prosecutors described a sprawling, multi-state conspiracy built upon Trump's repeated false claims that Democrat Joe Biden's victory had been marred by widespread fraud. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. According to the indictment, Trump ignored advisors and attorneys who told him the election was not fraudulent, including then-Vice President Mike Pence, White House lawyers, and the Director of National Intelligence. Instead, prosecutors wrote, quote, The defendant pushed officials in certain states to ignore the popular vote, disenfranchise millions of voters, dismiss legitimate electors. It really goes to the heart of our democracy and uh, how we count people's votes. Cheryl Bader, associate law professor at Fordham University School of Law. The indictment goes through in very uh, painstaking detail how uh, Trump was able to perpetuate this lie and knew indeed that it was a falsehood. Um, and then to show how he systematically um, worked with other co-conspirators to try to perpetuate this lie. But Trump's defense will likely argue that his claims were protected political speech. Trump is going to argue that he believed this to be true, that he believed that he won the election and therefore that he was not defrauding the United States, that he was not trying to take away anybody's vote. The Trump campaign issued a statement accusing the Biden administration of targeting him for political gain. This is the third criminal indictment in four months for Trump. The 77-year-old is the first former U.S. president to face criminal charges. He currently dominates the contest to once again lead the Republican Party in 2024. But the tangle of criminal trials next year will likely clash with his campaign schedule. And more legal problems likely lie ahead. Strategists said that while the indictments could help Trump solidify support among Republican voters who view the charges as bogus, they could prove more damaging among independent voters in the general election against Biden.